sorry if I seem uninterested or I'm not I was thinking full glam today, you guys. Um, I feel like I've just been wearing really light makeup lately because I just recently went back to work, so yay me. Um, and you just don't need a full glammed out face of makeup to go to work. So I am feeling like I just want a full face of makeup and I'm not even doing anything really. I mean, I'm hanging out um, with one of my best friends, so that's cool. But I mean, like I'm not going out. I'm in total like gym gear and everything. Um, just want to be comfortable, but I just miss my makeup, you guys. So we're going to use a combination of the Pinky Rose Earth Hue Palette and at ColourPop's Super Shock Shadow and Telepathy. So, you guys know what it is. I'm going to get you guys zoomed in a little bit closer so you can see the eyeballs. So, we're going to be going in with the Color Revolutions Primer and getting that all over the lid. And I have actually really been loving this primer. Um... It was in a haul video of mine, just a small haul video that I recently put up on my channel. And it was on sale at Super Kmart, so my mom and I grabbed one and decided to try it out. It is a good eye primer. Going into our Pinky Rose palette to set the lid. I'm going to be going in with this. I just stuck my finger in the eyeshadow. I'm going to be going in with this like taupey kind of brown shade to set my eyelid. We set our eyelid to help us blend out the shadows later on. Makes for a good transition shade to kind of work on top of. Let's get into the crease. So I think the first shade I'm going to put down is like this mustardy kind of yellow brown shade. I don't know, orangey. <laughs> Every time I sit down and film, it never fails. That's when everybody wants to call and everybody wants to text. And it's crazy to me because I film in the morning. It is like 10.30 in the morning and my phone is getting blown up right now. We're going to go in with this orange, burnt orange, red kind of shade. And we're going to follow that in the crease. Smaller crease brush, we're going to go in with this mustard yellow. We're going to take that directly into the socket along the orangey brown shades. Then, even smaller shader brush. We're going to go in with this really dark burgundy red. And we're just going to put that in the direct corner. Kind of creating like a little bit of a V and taking it about halfway in. With this red, we're going to do the same thing in that outer corner. That blending brush that we've been using to blend out the crease, we're just going to blend over top of that lately. And for the inner and outer corner, I'm going to be using this shade. I'm actually going to use a little bit of setting spray just to wet that brush. The same blend, blending brush we've been using, just kind of blend over the crease area just to blend it together nicely, blend out the edges. Same flat eyeshadow brush we're going to go in with ColourPop's Telepathy. This is seriously one of my favorite uh, shadows. When I first got it, all I did was use it, so I'm obsessed, even still. 
a little bit of that and we're going to put it on the center of the lids right where that nice little open spot is just don't film in a white shirt it's not a good idea Okay, for eyeliner, we're going to go in with the Wet n Wild Graphic Marker Liner. Go in and fill it in and kind of darken it up. I'm going to use my NYC liner to do that. So, the look is looking so incomplete at this point in time. We're going to use the Urban Decay Perfusion Bigger Black Blacker Batter Mascara and coat the lashes here so we can get some false lashes on. And for lashes, we're going to be using the Tinkerbell Forever Tink Lashes from House of Lashes. These are so gorgeous, so I feel like these will be perfect to kind of finish off this eye look. Honestly, guys, I feel like these lashes just complete this look. I love these lashes. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to do my face off camera because I'm actually going to film it. I'm firming, I'm firming, I'm filming a first impression on a new foundation. So we will come right back to finish um, the under eye and the lip. Guys, we are back. Let's finish off this face because my phone is getting blown up. We're going in with the Italiano Deluxe Eyeliner in Black. seriously need to go eat and take something. I am getting the worst migraine ever. Okay, so we're going to go back into the Picky Rose palette, back into this red shade, and we're going to take that underneath to smoke it out. The blending brush we've been using, I'm going to go into like this yellow shade here a little bit and kind of blend that together and then I'm actually going to put telepathy on the inner corner because I just think it would look so good right there I love this eye look okay for the lips we're going in with our NK lip liner in red I have a little concoction going on. I'm going in with Anastasia Beverly Hills and Sad Girl. It has this really pretty metallic in it, but it's just not metallic enough, so I'm going to put ColourPop Flitter over top of it and see how that looks. That might give me the metallic glow that I'm looking for. Love, love, love this lipstick, especially with this look. Going in with ColourPop's Flitter. And really, yes, this is exactly what I wanted. Yes, this is such a beautiful combination for a lip and eye. I am just loving this completely. We're going to set the face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And I've kind of explained in a couple of videos that I'm just trying it out because in the summertime, I sweat, I get oily, and my makeup does move around. In the wintertime, I'm just so dry that the matte foundation just stays stuck to my skin. So we're going to see how this goes, you guys. Okay, you guys, so this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this glam super super glam makeup tutorial and if you did please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave if you are new so you don't miss out on any more awesome videos follow me on all social media which is linked down below i don't know i got the chop hands going i don't know what i'm doing anyways you guys don't forget to put a smile on your face it is truly the best makeup you can wear i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye